and welcome to Hungry Eli. So today we're going to be making a lasagna from scratch. Um, I personally think it's definitely worth it. I would pick a day where you don't have very much on, it does take a while. But uh, we are going to just in case compare it to a ready-made lasagna and see who the winner is. And it's got three elements to it obviously, which is the bolognese, the white sauce and the fresh pasta sheets. So there's a lot to do uh, and let's get started. What we're going to start with is the bolognese, for which I use um, celery sticks, two carrots, two shallots, tomato puree. I like to use some fresh tomatoes, but that's optional. You can just use canned, which I have as well. Some tomato passata, olive oil, rosemary, um, some chicken stock, some garlic, and parmesan crusts, which um, are super important. So we're going to start by slicing the celery sticks. So I want everything to be quite uh, small, so it really cooks down. So try to chop everything as finely as possible. I'm going to be fast forwarding this uh, because nobody needs to, the video to be that long. There's a lot of chopping and then I'll come back afterwards. So um, whilst we chop the vegetables, we're going to actually start frying off the meats, uh, which I'll do in batches because I'm using quite a lot. As a note, this is for a huge portion of bolognese, so um, you're gonna have some leftover from the lasagna, which to be honest, I think uh, is worth doing just because of, there's so much work involved and you need to cook it for a long time, so you might as well make more, you can always freeze it. It's half pork, half beef. If you don't eat pork, then you can just stick to beef, but I like the, the mixture of both flavors together. Let's add some olive oil, and then we're just gonna pick out half of the meat. So it actually browns and doesn't just um, doesn't just steam. Add already some pepper. And we add some salt and just obviously keep an eye on that whilst whilst we're cooking. Whilst that's cooking and frying off, we're going to continue chopping the vegetables and then we're done. The first batch is nicely browned off. We're gonna second one in, do exactly the same as we did before. Okay, so now that we've added the second batch of meat, we've cut all the vegetables, we've um, added them to the pot. We're gonna add three sprigs of rosemary, one um, large bowl of cherry tomatoes, I said that's optional. About half a bottle of red wine. two packets of tomato passata and then about three quarters of a tube of tomato puree. Also going to add some chicken stock, either fresh or in um, powder or sort of semi-liquid form like I just did. And then the most important thing is the parmesan rind. That's the secret ingredient that will really help develop the flavor. Now that we've added all the ingredients, we also add some garlic about three cloves um, and you can add more to taste um, if you need but three should be more than sufficient and then we just leave it to simmer we're now going to move to the pasta dough which we'll be using for the lasagna sheets so take 400 grams of flour zero zero is very important so it needs to be double zero flour otherwise if you use normal flour it's not going to work per 100 grams i use one egg four eggs in the middle Get yourself one of these scrapers. They'll make your life a lot easier uh, when you mix the pasta dough. And basically just work it together until um, it gets a buttery texture. And I'll show you once we're done. All right, so you need the dough for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how aggressively you go at it. It's got this nice buttery texture. I'll do a separate video on how to make pasta, but uh, this is what it should look like. Now it needs to go into the fridge for half an hour and we're gonna do the vegetable sauce. All right, so now that we have the bolognese cooking, we've done the pasta dough, it's in the fridge, we're now gonna make the vegetable sauce. So we're gonna take 60 grams of butter, 60 grams, ooh, 60 grams of flour, so equal parts. We're gonna melt the butter in the, um, in the pot and then add around 900 milliliters of milk. Um, but that kind of depends also the consistency that you want. I want it quite thick. Um, but the important thing is that you cook the flour. All right, so now that the butter's melted, we're gonna add the flour. So don't brown the butter. 
sieve in the flour. The when it's ready when it gets very lumpy and thick and then that's when we're going to add the milk to it. You're going to want to add the milk bit by bit and then basically continuously stir. Um, the flour and uh, butter mixture will absorb the milk and continue doing that until the milk is gone. Season it with some, musk, uh, some salt, some pepper and some nutmeg and that's it. It's been around 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, the lasagna should be ready. So we're gonna get that out. Ta -da! Obviously you have to let that cool down a little bit. I'd say about 20 minutes, um, otherwise the whole thing will just fall apart. But um, I think that it's definitely worth it to put the time and do it yourself. It's, a, it's pretty laborious. It took me about five hours, um, but, um, but I'm always happy once I eat it. So. Uh, let's do the taste test with Eli and see what he thinks. <laughs> no! Uh, no. <laughs> no! <laughs> no!